What's going on my YouTube family, the people I love dearly, my subs, new viewers, welcome. If you are a solo player on Division and you need a clan, Creative Intel is the clan for you. It's open and it's on PlayStation. Now, I'm going to tell you guys how to get maximum mods. I've seen it in comments on videos. How do you get max mods? It's been known for so long to the people who've already been playing. But for those who are new and maybe even veterans, some people might not even know which is actually the best or the better option when it comes to farming stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you exactly what you need to farm all these mods that I am showing you as proof that this method is the fastest. And not only is the fastest, but it also does more than just give you maximum of mods. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain that to you, all right? As you guys can see, I'm going through all the mods I have in my inventory and stash just so you guys can see um, the max mods. Now you can also get caches along the way. You can get named, optimization, and exotic caches. Whichever one you want to choose is up to you. I'm only talking about mods today. But this is the build I'm going to run. I showed you guys in a previous video. Make sure you check out the previous video. I'll explain further on what this build can do. So I'm going to use this in the countdown. Now for those who are getting me frustrated this is not the way to go Cre uh, crafting these mods are not the way to go you are wasting resources and is highly unlikely for you to craft a maximum mod it is super rare so you're just going to waste a lot of resources that you actually need for expertise now let me show you guys as i'm showing you examples of me not getting it this was a guarantee i already knew for a fact i wasn't getting it so i wasted my uh resources just to show you guys all right now listen all right why am i wasting my resources to show you guys because i want you to know something all right a lot a lot not a lot of people realize that crafting is not always the best way to go all right crafting you can lose resources if you don't know that there's actually an alternative way to get the materials or the items you're looking for at a better and faster rate. That is called the drop rate for certain game modes. And I'm gonna show you one right now. Now, before we get into the game mode, I wanna show you the skills that you would need for this game mode. It is the riot foam and the trap. Now, the reason why I want you to use these skills is because these skills guarantee an extraction. If you really want to extract every single time and not struggle in the countdown, please use the Riot Foam and Trap as your skill. I don't care what build you use. You can use whatever build you want, but use the Trap and the Riot Foam and it's a guarantee extraction. Now, obviously it's not guaranteed if you not good enough to extract by yourself, but for really good players or like maybe the average good player you should be able to extract with the trap and the riot phone because you'll be able to freeze those hunters that's the only re only thing that's really stopping you from extracting is those hunters so if you can uh riot foam them and freeze them in place with either shock or the riot foam you're guaranteed to extract so as you guys can see the riot foam this is the stats for it obviously i have max mods on my riot foam but on my shock trap i'm actually missing 0.3 in the duration so i still need a max mod for my duration for my trap so this is perfect i will be showing you guys me farming for this uh trap mod right so as you guys can see i'm showing you how to how you can see your uh targeted loot for a countdown and i also am going to show you how to change your targeted loot you click the change uh, uh change targeted loot you select target loot change that to the one you're looking for right now we are going for a skill um, mod so I'm showing you this is what I will be farming all right now there's two ways to start countdown you can start the countdown by going all the way over to the matchmaking on after you hit uh, the open world map and go down to countdown or you can go over to countdown and then select um, countdown and then it'll show you what difficulties you want to change it to create countdown privately or you can be the leader to guarantee it or start matchmaking now if you start matchmaking do not be this person right here this person right here did not start the uh, countdown and people kept leaving so i left as well but don't be that person if you have leaders start the countdown right so the chests all right the chests are 
your best friend in countdown and every yellow um barred enemy those are your best friends because they are more likely to drop the mods that you're looking for now not all of the mods are going to be maxed out um all the way but you will um have a chance to get those max mods and i will show you in this video i've only ran four different matches and i'm going to show you that out of the two matches that i ran and put in this video i have gained some max mods so i'm going to show you that heroic right now as you guys can see on heroic i barely got any mods any good mods i probably only got like one or two max mods um in this gameplay but as you probably guys will see i've only probably gotten one um but most of my max mods come into this next difficulty level where i'm which i'm about to show you right after this one in reality heroic you may think that it's the best option because heroic is the highest difficulty and you are more likely to get um, a greater chance uh for the max mods to drop theoretically but if you were not able to complete the countdown or anything like that or if you don't even make it all the way to the end because you don't have a right group or you're not strong enough to tackle heroic countdown, uh, countdown then it is not efficient at all. Now I'm gonna show you why it's not efficient right after this uh, gameplay, but heroic, I'm telling you right now, it is not the move for the fastest method to get max mods. As you guys can see right now in this video on this heroic difficulty, not all the hunters actually die before um, it is over. So if you are an agent, right, and you would play heroic difficulty countdown, let me know in the comments how many times in a row you can get through uh, a countdown with a whole bunch of random people with no mics. It is not that easy, but this next difficulty I'm about to show you right now um, will give you that guaranteed um, extraction and a higher chance to gain those mods because of how quick you get through the count uh, countdown it is so efficient because you get through the countdown and you're also more likely to get the drops okay all right so now we're on to challenging yes you guys may have already known some of you guys may have already known let me know in the comments if you did know um challenging most players now since the game has been out for five years Challenging is the way to go for countdown, for finding gear, for finding weapons, for finding max mods. It is the most efficient, it is the best way and quicker way to getting those max mods without crafting and without using heroic um, difficulty, okay? Now, you can use whatever build you want. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again for all those solo players out there. You can use whatever build you want. Just use the shot trap and the foam and it's a guaranteed extraction if you know how to play shooter games. I, I, if you're good at shooter games, all right? Average person. I'm not talking about somebody who just learned like two weeks um, and then they start to play for the first time and they're still trying to remember the buttons. No, I'm talking about somebody who's already been in the game, played the game, who played shooters before, who just knows how to survive. It's not hard anyway. Just use the shock trap and the foam and it's a guaranteed extraction and fast way to get those mods. Let's continue, shall we? Now I'm gonna show you uh, towards the end of the mission or towards the end of the countdown, how many max mods I just got in this room alone. All right, uh, and show you how many mods I got. Go ahead and deconstruct that. And now look at this right here, okay? Look at this, maxed drone health mod. We didn't even get that on Heroic. I, I showed you guys, we didn't get any max mods on Heroic, all right? And now this is the same match on Challenging, okay? Towards the end, it's the same people. You can check the, uh, the, stat, uh, the people on the right. Another maxed mod for the turn, burn damage. And you guys know we got that new uh, set out there. You know we got that new set so you know this will be perfect for that 360 turret for that gives all fire damage right see we're getting lucky and this is off of just one match on challenging this was right after that heroic match 
you see how quickly I'm getting those max mods. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Subscribe if you're new. And shout out to my boy Jeff once again for a huge supporter. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.